Yeah, hi guys. This is Serge from thesis2.com and I would like to present to you today the uh, latest version of my featured image for Thesis plugin. So, as you guys know, in Thesis theme, uh, you have a nice feature of uh, WordPress images that you may uh, easily have control in your blog posts. Well, actually, all you need to do is just paste your content here. You choose the image, you paste it link here. Uh, you get your alt text, you may add frames, you may move your image over the page layout, you may add it above headline or before post content, and all that stuff. Well, actually, this sucks. You know why? Because I don't like my customers pasting links here. I do prefer they use the native WordPress featured image uh, feature for this post and I just added some options here to use like different sizes and to have a, a caption enabled on the featured image in Tezis. Also you have a control over the uh, CSS classes applied to that image and you even may and you may even enable a slideshow for your images. So let me show how it works. Uh, so actually Right now I'm editing this post, uh, you have it here, so you've got just a line of content, you have a, a title and all that stuff. I'm gonna go grab some dummy text to make it look better a bit, like this. Okay, I paste it here. Uh, you might have noticed I'm not using HTML editor because uh, it, it is really messy in uh, thesis. So. I update the post to add some content first. So here you go. We've got some content. Let us add an image here. Now what we do, you will see it's really easy. You see the box here, featured image. You click set featured image link here. Then you go grab a web file, a file from your computer or from your media library. Just go like that. Uh, you choose any image you would like. Uh, actually, if your server allows, you can get uh, bigger images. They will be resized in uh, WordPress upon their uh, upload. So I'm gonna go grab some images. Like here, uh, just a little photos here. Uh, so here you go. Uh, I like this one. So I open it. This image is actually about uh, two or three uh, thousand pixel wide, and I will use it in the media. You may add some text here, like uh, text uh, for the title of the image. Title. Uh, you may use uh, the same text for the alt text, and you may even enable a caption here. So. And instead of inserting this image into post, you may use it as featured image, like this. So here you go, you've got your image here. You save changes. And uh, actually here you may select your size for the image. I would like, yeah, I would like to have it medium and without any frame or before the post content on the left. That's great. So I update the button. And here we will see the image. Here you go. Mm. Actually, it's better to move it to the right and make it frame and a bit smaller. Instead of changing all this stuff with the links, all I have to do, I just change the size to thumbnail, I add my frame, and I move it to the right. I update the button. And here you go. And you've got a small frame and you change the size. And now the nice feature is uh, to have a caption enabled on that. Like this. All I have to do is just to enable the caption. I update. Here you go. And you've got your caption here. So, in the second video, I will show you some more features about this plugin.